got a group of about 12 people that are, would be really core supporters and to get going on this. So I'm very excited to change that huge turf in front of our church and also um, some drainage problems that we have in our parking lot situation. And I mean, this is very, very timely. I've already spoken with our council and our, our pastor is very excited about this. He would rip out all of the lawn if he could and most of the council is with us. So we're looking, we've already identified at least four potential locations for rain gardens that we're gonna build. Um, we already have a wooded area that's pretty well like there's a lot of wildlife we get all the time like i see possums and rabbits there all the time i used to see foxes there so i'm hoping like we can get some foxes back in i'd love to see that again st john's and aspen hill uh, which is so it's very surprising that we see all this wildlife because it's in the middle of a very dense suburb but we have this little wooded area and there's a ch there's a channel that kind of goes off to the back of it so it's like there's a herd of deer that lives there which may impact our rain garden plants but we'll work with that um I've got people with shovels that are just looking for me to like point them in a direction and they're ready to dig, so we're pretty excited. The synagogue building is in an urban landscape. It's in the Lakelands in Gaithersburg, and if you're familiar with that, it's one of these um, new, you know, new urban type places. So there's very little ground, so we're working in sort of micro-community type changes. So the kind of wildlife we would be most excited to attract would be bees, butterflies, and birds. Um, the kind of food we would anticipate being able to provide would be things like seeds, berries, and nectar. Um, the, the kind of water we could provide would be something like a bird bath. Cover would be things like roosting boxes, places to raise young nesting boxes and hose plants for caterpillars. We're certified as a national wildlife uh, uh, property, but the faith component is where we realize we need to do more educating, even within our own congregation. And we're fortunate to have many, many pilgrims coming from really all over the world, but especially up and down the East Coast. So we want to take this opportunity to, to do more signage, to do more explaining of what we're doing, make some showcases of what we've done and make it more visible to people, because that's the piece that's, that's missing right now. Um, we have a, a potluck community dinner next Saturday, so we're gonna start there. And um, we're, we've got some other things we need to do, a lot with signage and, and online. We do a lot on Facebook, so we'll be using social media, and um, we're just really excited, because this really helped. We have a 65-acre peace park um, that's open to the general public, but then on the on the side of the grounds where the temple is, which is another additional about 10 acres across the street on River Road, um, then we have you know some of the pollinator gardens going on, um, some things that we're doing to to keep rainwater from they're not complete rain gardens or conservation gardens yet, but to keep rainwater from you know going down, um, and then uh, contemplating a meadow. Um, uh, on, on a big part of our um, grounds so we don't have as much mowing and things like that. We just had a, a yard day yesterday and we had, uh, oh my gosh, 15 people come out and so they're all on their side I'm, and they would be happy never to mulch again. One of the things I'd like to work into all of the other things that have been said like the, f the flowers and the ground cover is I really want to build a labyrinth but I don't want it to be a labyrinth that is ecologically um, unwise. Yeah. So um, hopefully with some advice we can put in a labyrinth that would be ecologically no, yeah. pleasing. Yeah. Uh, we'd like to put some kind of a water feature in. Um, we're also, uh, next year is our 60th anniversary, so we are also creating memorials in our gardens, not graves, but <laughs> like <laughs> trees planted for people, yeah. right? So we're excited. Wow, this was really exciting, really heartwarming. I think we should just have a workshop about this, letting people talk about what they're going to do. Anyway, that was great. Mm -hmm.